Father's Day to all the fathers in your life or father figures that you have in your life. So, we're going to dive into worship, but before we do dive into our worship, I want to talk to you guys about what we're going to be teaching this summer. So this summer, I'm going to be focusing on Fruits of the Spirits. We're gonna dive into the fruits of the spirits this summer, and I have different messages and different lessons for each of the fruits of the spirit. So today, in honor of us honoring our fathers, we're gonna be talking about love. So let's start our kids down with worship first. We're gonna do two songs. We're gonna do one of our very old and familiar songs that we all love, and we're actually gonna do the new song that we learned a couple weeks ago, which is Jesus is my superhero. So let's everyone stand up, make sure you have some room, make sure you're not heading to brothers and sisters, and we're going to dive into worship.
to stand. Now we're gonna sit down and do our lesson. All right, now on to Bible story. Now in the very beginning, I talked about how we're gonna be focusing on the fruits of the spirit. This week we're talking about love. And it's perfect timing because, you know, this today is Father's Day and you guys probably love your fathers or, you know, maybe you don't have a father, but you have a, someone that you look up to that's like a father to you. And so today we're gonna to dive into a story that talks about God's love for one man and that man's love for his family. So we're actually gonna be talking about Noah. And we're gonna be talking about the ark. So if you wanna follow along, you can go into Genesis six through nine. Now we're not gonna talk about the whole thing. We're gonna sum up the story. But if you guys wanna dive into the story, it's a really great story. I love Noah's ark. So let's dive in. After Adam and Eve left the garden, many, many people were born. And these people did a lot of bad things in God's eyes. All except Noah. Noah loved God. He saw God as a father figure, so he always listened and obeyed to what God had planned for him. And so God got really sad and all the people um, were doing mean and bad things. So he decided that he would wipe everyone everyone and everything on the earth except for noah because he loved noah so much he told noah to start a plan he said go to not the earth is like this and noah was like uh how do i make an ark and god gave him the instructions to make an ark and so he started building the ark him and his family started building the ark and then when it was done, Jesus told them to take two of every animal. So, you know, we have cows over here, we have alligators, and put them all into the ark. And so that's what he did. He put them all into the ark. Two by two. So he had big creatures, small creatures, birds, insects, everything that you could think of. Then, once everyone was inside, including Noah's family, which is his three sons, their wives, his wife, you know, because he didn't want to lose them either. When everyone was in, the door closed and the rain started pouring and falling and falling and falling and the earth and the earth was shaking back and forth and back and forth for 40 days and for 40 nights. Then the rain finally stopped and everything was covered by water. But everyone inside was safe. Noah was safe, his sons were safe, and they were very happy. Then one day, Noah sent a dove to find land. The dove flew and flew, couldn't find anything, so he flew back. He did that a couple of times. And the one time they the dove came, it came back with an olive leaf and Noah was happy. He was like, it must have found land. Then the ark finally rested. The water drained and God told Noah to leave the ark. And Noah and his family praised God. And then God decided to never do this again. And to symbolize that, he made a rainbow. And the rainbow is a sign of the promise that God will never flood the earth again. So, let's recap. God saw that everyone was evil, except for one man. And he saw that that man loved him so much. So, the man was willing to do everything. Including building an ark, which is what God told him to do. So, Noah built an ark. And then he took all the animals that God wanted him to take, and he took his family because he loved his family just as much, and he put them into the ark, and God kept them safe. And because of God's love, God will never do the flood again. And he made a rainbow to show that. And I know that, you know, it's very easy 
for us to think, well, there's still need in this world. Why doesn't God flood it? Well, it's because God loves us so much that he, years later, he decided to send his son to die on the cross for us. So that way we can ask for forgiveness for the sins that we make and we'll be able to go to him in heaven. And that's, you know, the fruit of the spirit of love. So let's bow our hearts and close our eyes. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much that you love us so much that you sent your son down to die on the cross for us. I thank you that you protected Noah and I thank you that you kept him safe during the flood. You know, because Noah saw you as a father. Bye.